All right, guys, I'm here to bring you another video on my 72 Monte Carlo. This time it'll be about how I switch from a mechanical washer pump to an electrical washer pump. So what prompted me to even get started on this, just a small journey, it, it wasn't hard at all, but what prompted me to do it was my mechanical washer pump, which is here. I'll put it in the, the packaging that the new one came in. It wasn't working, um, it was clunky from what I remember hearing when I tried to tried to test it out and use it. So I did a lot of research online and I found that a lot of guys was using this direct replacement, which is a Trico 11515. I did find it on Amazon. It was like 26 bucks, probably 30 bucks shipped. So nice and inexpensive. And the install wasn't bad either. So just real quick, I'll show you guys the old one. So here's the old one. Here's the back of the old one. Sit this over here, and here's the the front part of it. So we usually sit up against the firewall on top of the the wiper motor like that, kind of like you see the new one sitting there. So it wasn't working anymore. I tried to put power to it, and it still didn't work. And then after you get this cover off, you can see the internal. So it was pretty much fraud. There's nothing I can do. And then I thought about trying to get do a rebuild kit that they sell out there. But since I couldn't get power to it, it was no point. And then the back side of it, <clears throat> even when you install these brand new, you have to try to get this groove lined up with the ball that's on the motor. And that's a benefit of the new one. You don't have to do that at all. It just goes right onto the um, top of the motor. And when I would try to use it, you would hear that like clunk, just like that. So I'm not sure if it was just doing that when it was going with the wipers, because I would hear like a clunk every time the wipers would go back and forth. So as far as installing it, it's pretty, pretty simple. You just come in here and there's three little bolts you have to take out. So the first one is here. So that's one. The second one is here. And be careful when you take this one out because you can see that it has a ground on it. And the third one is here. Probably can't see it that well, but it's right there. Yep. So once you take the old one off, putting the new one on is super simple. You put it because because the wiper motor doesn't have to come out at all. So you put the new one on and it has very nice instructions too. So they tell you that if it doesn't work right away when you connect it, you just flip the connector and then it'll work. Another nice thing that the new one did come with for these little adapters like, like this one and then a little bit more holes if you need it. So you can see here that here's the inlet so this is coming from the washer tank itself so from here and it's routed all the way along here that's like the factory routing and then it goes here and then the outlet is this one here and you can see where I connected the T that came with it and what I did notice it leaks just a little bit and I gotta figure out a, a little solution for that, but it hasn't been like nothing crazy. And I don't drive the car in the rain or use it too much anyway. I just wanted it to work because I like for everything to work. And I will give you all a quick demonstration of it too. So yeah, uh, when I tell you it's super easy to install, and then when you get the old one out, <clears throat> what I would recommend is actually greasing up the gears that's on the motor. Since you're already in there, just grease up the gears. And you're all good. It's like a little plastic gear that's in there. So, yeah, that's the gist of what I did to put the new one on and what prompted me to get the uh, new one. The only con I can see, and it's, it's probably something like, it's not even that serious, to be honest with you. I feel like it drinks through this washer fluid really quick. 
So I'll let you see the level now. It's about here. And then when you hit the switch inside the car, I think it sprays for about maybe three, four seconds, if that. And then another thing I'll point out is that all my factory hoses, they were in good shape. And then these little spray nozzles up here are, I'm gonna assume they're factory to my car. So I didn't have to replace any of those. Now I think the driver's side, I did have to try to aim it a little bit better, but for the most part, it, it was perfect. So I'll get the hood down, get the car started and let you all get a peek at that to see how it functions. Okay, now we inside the car and I can just show you all a, a quick demo of like the washer pump in action. So of course here's the switch here and I'm gonna push the switch in. So when you push it, it does automatically activate the um, wipers and you have to stop the wipers on your own after it finished uh, spraying. So try to show you all from an angle. You push it. And this aimed pretty good and you see they'll still go. I need some new wipers, that's why they sound like that. So I just come here, turn it off, and then they park themselves. So that was about what? Maybe three seconds that it ran and that's perfect. So now I'm gonna try to get you a video from outside the car to show you how it looks spraying from um, the hood. Okay, now I'm outside the car. I'll hit it again and you can see how it sprays. Then we turn them off. And then they'll park. Perfect. So, you can see that it sprays with no problem. Um, and just like any car, you see that it kind of gets on the roof a little bit. It does spray really good. And these are the nozzles I was talking about. They real like tiny. So I think this driving one was off at one point. I had to aim it a little bit. It's, um, the passenger was like perfect and spot on. But as you can see from the inside and the outside, it sprayed like perfect. So. I'll get you a look back under the hood and let's see how much of the washer fluid that it actually took. Well, you know what? Maybe I'm a liar. It doesn't seem to have drunk that much. So thinking back, maybe I was just a little bit too excited and I was using this joker like crazy. So that's probably what it was. So that was two sprays and it didn't move much in my opinion. So, you know, I just wanted to bring you guys this quick video. You know, I didn't want to make it too long um i don't care if it helps one person but as long as it helps one person I'm, I'm happy at least it helps somebody but yeah these are the washer pumps that gm used from like i think all throughout the 70s and 80s on a lot of cars and a lot of trucks and this is like a direct replacement if i had to guess all they did was take one of their normal pumps they sit they about that big and look like a little uh a little cylinder so to speak and they fitted it to here and made it like for a GM application. But yep, that's that's it in a nutshell. Super easy to install. Um, less of a headache, I believe, than a mechanical. And it'll, it'll get you where you need to be as far as like a nice little upgrade. It's inexpensive. It's not super um, complicated to do. And you can have this done in literally... <sighs> maybe about 15 minutes or so. So yeah, if you all have any questions about it, um, feel free to give me feedback as well. I try to answer everybody's questions and everything like that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. And just, you know, I try to bring little videos like this that I've done to my car, maybe to help somebody else.